Hey, yo, what up? It's Don. Sammy Lee here? Soul Brothers in the building. That's Soul Brothers. Inside the screen, this is where we bring you sneaker reviews and sneaker news and basketball talk and yep. whatnot. That's yep, what we yep, do. Yep, yep, yep. Soul Squad, I see you. This is a big boy performance review. For the big boys. This is a brand new silhouette from Adidas. This is the crazy explosive one. And Sammy's pulling his threads off right now. So the that'll fuck? that might affect the durability. That was crazy. Yeah. Like, okay, so starting off with the traction pattern, it's like a weird squiggly line. Uh, what do they call it? Looks this? like a maze. Looks like a maze. And Sammy was just pulling some of his his lines off. I mean, like, uh, what was that? It, it actually frays off too. You see yeah, that? it frays off. So little. durability on the rubber, I do not think it's good, especially no. indoors, because I only play these indoors. Uh, I mean, especially I mean, outdoors, yeah. yeah. But I play these indoors, and it's still fraying off, you know? Yeah, mine's so, coming off a little right here, too. Yeah, This is actually mine, also. Oh, yeah, shit. <laughs> but I meant my shoe that I'm holding. Uh, okay, this okay. is my shoe, dog. Okay, yeah. You know, if I'm holding and, it, this, this is my shoe, mine. too. Possession is nine-tenths. Okay. Uh, uh, but uh, the tracking was good. It was really good. It, there was actually no problems with it. You stop. Um, dust uh, does not get stuck on this. Uh, the the grooves are wide. Yeah. You know, so dust doesn't get stuck on it. Yep. So yeah, I give it like a, uh, a nine. Yeah. yeah. Eight or nine uh, for sure. Exactly. Excellent traction. Can't really complain there. Not really squeaky. Not too squeaky. Yeah. Um, definitely not as good as some other models as of recent. Yeah. But that doesn't mean it's bad. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and some of the traction even wraps up on the toe, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. You get a little bit of wrapping around on the medial side on the... Yep. Toe and so that's that's always nice to see if you like to do crossovers and stuff. What would you rate the the stopping power though? Like Stop. an eight or a nine? Right? Yeah, an eight or a nine. Eight or nine. Okay. It didn't have the hardest bite, meaning like top, top, top. Like D Rose. Like D Rose Seven. Kyrie Two. Kyrie Two. Curry Two. But it was still. But it was still, still good. really good. Yeah. Uh, now this is a boost shoe. The full length boost. We have the full length boostings in yep. this with the little frame inside. If you guys can, what, what do we call this? The eight frame? Infinity frame? Infinity frame. I All think right. it does have a, a name. Really? Stable yeah. frame? Stable frame. But I don't I don't think they, that's what they call Maybe it. Maybe not. Uh, on this one, but I'm not but it's sure. it's similar. Whatever, but it helps to uh, stabilize the boost because you don't want to be like teetering and shit. Yeah. Because the boost is hella soft and... Uh, heavenly and still at a sexy time on your feet. Yeah, you, know? you gotta uh, you gotta cage it up a little bit. You yep. can see on the lateral side they cage the whole thing. Exactly. They put a few holes to uncage it to let it loose. It's actually I thought this was gonna be like really hard, but it's uh, it's actually pretty yeah, soft. Yeah, pretty you soft. Can, you can uh, press it, but um, yeah, I can't feel the boost. Yeah, on the medial side, it's it's wide open. Yep, pretty much. The boost, I'm heavier than Sammy. I can feel a little bit in the heel. The forefoot barely. Um, but that not, that's not necessarily a bad thing. That is not a bad thing. For a response, it's great. It's exactly. awesome. And you get you still get a decent amount of impact protection, which is good to have. Uh, yeah, actually, but, uh, impact protection is really good in this, right? Yeah. Like, I, I would. It's not the best. Really? It's the best? No. But, uh, uh, not for me. Oh, uh, okay. But it was really good. Because my, my feet felt fresh even after playing a really long time. Yeah. So um, I think for me, impact protection was really good. Um, heel to toe transition was really good. Really good. The heel does not compress really that much. Uh, not as much as the Crazy Light Boost and the Dero 7, you know? Yeah. But uh, yeah, I couldn't feel the cushion at all, which is really good. Uh, super responsive cushion. Yeah. And so if you're a guard and you like that, uh, and you don't really want to feel the boost and the, its mushiness or whatever, then uh, this is the shoe for you, and I really enjoyed that. For Don, uh, would you like to have uh, felt the boost a little bit more? I would like to have felt it a little more, mm. okay? A little more in the heel, and a little more, so just for instance, I, I, I played in this for some hours, and then when I went to go home, I put on my, uh, when I was done balling, I put on my Clutch Fit Drive 3s, mm -hmm. and the Clutch Fit Drive 3s actually felt like really soft. Yeah. Now, most of that is because of the insole. There's a very thick, nice insole in there. It, a lot of it is in the cushion, but still, you know, boost should be, should feel li like that to me. Yeah. <clears throat> Not too much, like the Ultra Boost or something, but, you know, it is a basketball shoe, and so for, for response, it's, it's really great. Yeah. And core feels great, too. Core feels great. Impact protection is great. So, for me, I was not mad at it at all, so I give it like a 9. Yeah, okay. I would go with like an, an 8 or a 9. Okay. For sure. Um, now, let's move into like the, the meat of this shoe. 
Oh my god, this is the nicest freaking material slash upper that is on a shoe ever. It's hard to think of a better upper. There's none. There's none. There's like, some that feel really good. Like like maybe the Crazy Light Boost 2016, the Jacker material is yeah. really nice. The Jordan 29. But I'm um, saying as far as fit, okay. Okay, just materials, it's bananas. Yeah. It's totally bananas. You have this whole... Okay, so on, on this outside, you have an outside layer of prime knit. It's super stretchy and soft. It's like stretchy, nice, like ultra boost prime knit. Exactly. And then in the toe area, it feels really nice. Yeah. So there you go. And then on the inside is like a neoprene yeah. slash polyester. Uh, it's more neoprene. Um, they're calling it Geofit. They're calling it Geofit. And it, feet. Geofit. Okay, yeah. And this thing sits right on your foot. It's so nice. It covers your whole foot and kind of just feels like a sock. Um, it's super soft and there is some support there. It's not the most supportive shoe for sure, but man, it doesn't feel good. It feels, it really feels nice. light, um, but it, it, it you know, I, I can't think of a better upper. There's some uppers that feel really good on your feet, like the Curry 2, for instance. Just feels good on my on my foot, the fit of it. That's because of the fit, yeah. But that's just because of the fit, yeah, right? Exactly. Now these materials along with the fit is just out of this world. Yeah, but then the fit on the shoe is really, really nice. Too. Amazing. It goes right over your toes. It goes right all over your foot. Go down half a size. If you have a wide foot, then maybe you shouldn't get this because it does fit a little narrow. Maybe go up half a size. You know what? I don't know. Yeah, it does fit a little bit narrow, but I was noticing this is one of the widest shoes really? I have. Yeah. And I noticed that because I, I put uh, two pairs of shoes in my bag and they f usually fit. Uh -huh. But when I use this shoe, it like doesn't even fit because uh, it's like real wide, which is nice. Maybe it's because of this? It, it is because of that. Maybe it comes out quite a bit, Yeah. Uh, which is good. You know, it, it, it helps with stability and if you're doing cuts and crossovers and stuff. But this this upper materials, 10, hands down. Fit is also a 10 to me. Fit is also a 10. I love the fit. Um, now, support. Support. It's not the most supportive shoe. I give it like an eight yeah, because uh, it, right here on the toe box, that's really soft. But then you see where the orange uh, orange material is. That's where the prime knit is uh, a lot tighter. Yeah. And also um, this rubber part right here comes up to where uh, it should be. All shoes should have this. Yeah. You know, um, whether it be this material or like the um, the foam or whatever, like phylon coming up like this for support on lateral cuts and crossovers. And that's what helped keep the shoe stable, uh, stable, you mm -hmm. know, for me. So I didn't really have any issues with stability besides the prime being a little bit soft. But other than that, uh, support was really good. Yeah, stability is really awesome. And I think a lot of it has to do with how wide the shoe is. Mm -hmm. um, so you never feel like you're really going to roll your ankle. But if you do roll your ankle, uh, this will barely help you. Yeah. Uh, there's not a lot of ankle support. But that's not really what this shoe is about. You know, so um, I, we wore our ankle braces with this and it, it felt, felt great. Uh, that, that'll give you some support. So, you know, this isn't, support isn't really the strong point of this shoe. However, it's it's not really deficient too much. Yeah. It, it, it is still good. Uh, moving on to lockdown. Lockdown was, was good for me also. Yep. I did have a barely little bit of heel slippage, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and that also might be because I have a really narrow foot. So take that into consideration. Did you have no slippage? Nope, no yeah. slippage at all for me. Okay, so lockdown also was really good. One problem I, I kind of did have, and you're talking minor, mm -hmm. tedious nitpicking, is you know you go to tie the laces down and then like they loosen up. Yeah, they don't right tie. when you go to the next one. Exactly. And yes. I like to really crank my laces down. Yeah. I don't like any movement in my shoes. So that was a little annoying. Also, the laces are super nice. Laces are super nice. Because Adidas straight from the Yeezys. Yeah, they're they're <laughs> doing this with all their models. Yeah, it's like nice. You know, but even on their cheap models, which is cool. But like you, even on this, this is a cheap, uh, the crazy bounce. Uh huh. It has the same lace. It's a nice lace. But the thing is, you have to like freaking uh, double knot this, this, or else oh, yeah. it, it comes untied. Yeah. But it's still, it's still a nice feeling. You should be double game. knotting no matter what. Yeah, okay? I'm too lazy sometimes. If, if your shoe comes untied during a game, dog, double knot, boy. Yep. Okay, now moving on to um, ventilation. Ventilation was good. Uh, oh, I was, was hot. Actually, yeah. It I was, was hot. hot. It feels like a sweat. It wasn't like super hot like the Kyrie 2s, but it yeah. was more on the warmer side. Yeah, it was definitely warmer. It's a yeah. fucking sweater. Yeah. You know? Maybe it's also because it's been really hot out in LA. I don't think so. No. Because yeah, I was playing in my other shoes too. Yeah. You know? So, and then now moving on to aesthetics. Uh, not the best looking shoe. I really like this colorway, but yeah, not the best. Yeah, I think this colorway is sick, but I think the shoe is ugly as hell. Yeah. 
It looks okay. like a boot. Yeah. So um, now moving on to the weight. The weight. Let's weigh these bad boys. Okay. So this is a size seven because I went down half a size. And uh, at a size seven, I'm sure this is a really light shoe. No, it's not. 13.83. Wow. Dude, what? That's crazy. This is one of the lightest feeling shoes I have. It, wow. it feels even lighter than the Curry 2s for me. Okay, put that into perspective. The Curry 2 is how much? 12.03 ounces. So it's one, a Curry, basically 12 ounces. So Curry 2 is uh, 1.5 ounces, if I, if, if I remember correctly. Lighter. Lighter. So, uh, um, but 1.5 ounces is like nothing. You know what? Yeah, because it's really all about how light the shoe feels. Yeah. And a lot of that has to do with how close your foot is. To the material. To the material, how much you're sliding around in the shoe, how much bounce the cushion has. Yeah, how responsive the cushion is. And this is just, in all those categories, it's right against your foot, a tight fit, um, not too much bounciness, no slop in the shoe. So you just feel really light on your feet. Damn. Damn, is that Reyna? Yeah. Woo! Holy shit, bro. Damn. God, well, Reyna just dropped a heater up in here. <laughs> Damn, that shit hurt my feelings. That fucking mm. smells, bro. Damn, that was Sammy, huh? You lying, huh? <laughs> okay, yeah, you I'm lying. You don't blame it on the yeah. dog. Oh, yeah. That's messed up. Okay, sorry. But, um, <laughs> moving on to, what, what the fuck are we moving on to? Uh, I don't durability. Know, I lost my train of thought. Durability. durability is not good. Rubber frays even on, on indoors, yeah. and it's prime it. So. Yeah, it's prime it. Yeah, there you go. Um, price is 150 bucks. It's Adidas most expensive basketball 160 shoe right now. It's 150. 150. 150 dollars. Which is a steal. Yep. For this shoe. The prime in and the boost and just how it performs is amazing. You should go cop this. I think it's one you of the best best performing Adidas shoes right now yeah. and one of the best performing shoes out right now. For Not, sure. Like, out of every company. Hands down, this yep. is a slam dunk. Cop yep. this shoe for sure. Um, you should just definitely just have this shoe. I I'm always gonna have one of these. Yep. You know, um, I'm gonna double up on you for sure. And uh, I'm gonna wait till a fucking black colorway comes out and black out this <laughs> boost right here. You feel me? Boy, me? Me boy. there's already a black shoe, but it's not prime it? Oh, then fuck all that. There's a crazy explosive without prime knit? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Fuck all that. <laughs> but, anyways, that's our review. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.